Hey, how's it going everyone? This is your toaster boy from Potato Authority. So GTA 5 runs pretty well on my computer, so I thought maybe I can also play Nakara Blade Point on my Potato PC. But it appears that I was horribly wrong. That's because I am literally getting 2 FPS on this game. Bruh. So I set all the graphics setting to lowest and this is how the game looks. Did you do it? Yes. What did it cost? Everything. What did you get? Nothing. I know the game still looks unplayable, but I did get some FPS boost, right? Hence, in this video, I will show you how you can increase frame rate in Naraka Blade Point. So, let's start the video. I am using a potato seat with Intel Core i3, 4th gen processor, 8GB DDR3 RAM, unlike my other videos where I use 4GB RAM, and as GPU, I have Intel HD Graphics 4400. Before proceeding, this guy played Naraka Blade Point on a low end PC, Core i3, no graphics card. But just look at the gameplay. Even at this graphics, he is getting more than 30 FPS. I was like, how? Then I noticed his specification. His processor is Core i3 11th gen, which is obviously a better processor, and it comes with a better iGPU. And another important factor here is that he is using SSD. That means if you have a better spec compared to what I have, you will get more more FPS. First, you have to make sure that you select the server with the best ping. Then open graphics setting and make sure your display mode is set to full screen and set your resolution to lowest. Now you have to make sure that your rest of the setting is exactly a duplicate copy of what you can see on the screen right now. About render scale setting, it is up to you. It depends on how much pixels you can tolerate. By default, you cannot set the resolution below 1280 by 720. So now I will show you how to further decrease it because lower resolution will give us higher FPS. First, right click and then go to display setting. Scroll down and set the resolution to 800 by 600. Now you can launch Naraka Blade Point and the game will run at 800 by 600 resolution. If you want to set the resolution even lower, then follow me. Right click and go to display setting again. Click on advanced display settings. Then click on display adapter properties for display 1. Finally, set the resolution to 640x480 at 60Hz refresh rate. Now you can launch Naraka and it will run at 480p resolution. In Genshin Impact there was a setting to disable all shadows. If something similar was also there in Naraka, then we could also play this game in our potato PC. By the way, I forgot to mention about the config file. Naraka has a config file, but for some reason, the game doesn't read input from the config file. That means, like Valorant or Fortnite, we cannot change resolution in Naraka from the config file. It's kinda useless. Till now I was showing you how to play Naraka at lowest setting on your potato PC. But in next step, I will show you how you can play this game at highest setting on your potato PC. Obviously at playable FPS. So let's go. Whatever game you're playing, it won't work. You can't defeat me. No, I know. But he can. With the help of GeForce Now, you can play Naraka Blade Point on your Potato PC for 1 hour very easily without any lag. And obviously GeForce Now is not available in my country, so 
I use Proton VPN to avoid that problem and even after using VPN I can play the game without any network problem. If you are curious my internet speed is 5 Mbps though I'm not sure is it megabit or megabyte. Whatever so that's how you play Naraka on a potato PC. And now I am going to read some comments from my previous videos. So we have Aman Patel. He said in my CSGO lag fix video, bro if you play at 480 just uninstall just like I did. Yeah that is an option but you know I don't mind graphics as long as I am getting playable frame rate. Next we have Lightning the Beast. He said boo bring back the real voice. Thank you I'm back with my real voice. Next we have Rider from GTS San Andreas. No it's actually my AI. Bro, can you please do Red Dead Redemption 2? Bro, do you want my PC to get blast or something? Though I want to make a video about this, but till then, you can watch this short video. Last but not the least, we have Pranay Senpai. He commented on my Valorant Lagfix video. Will this work on my i5, 7th gen and AMD 4GB graphics with 16GB of RAM? Cause right now it's literally 10 frame rate. Bro, you have i5, 7 gen, 4 GB graphics card on top of that 16 GB RAM and you say you are getting 10 frame rate, how? I hope you are just kidding. So guys, that's all for this video. If you want me to read out your comment, then you can comment down below. I will try to read them in the next video. And if you want to get more videos for your potato PC, then you can subscribe this channel because I make videos for potato PC. Anyway, this is your toaster boy signing out. I will catch you in the next video. Until then, stay happy, healthy and hydrated.